Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening, hello, everyone. Mr. Hello, Mr. Luis. How are you doing today? How are you? Uh, I'm fine, Mr. Excellent. Thank you. Good. All right. Today it is Wednesday of November, November 1st. November 1st. That means that we have just like 60 days left to finish this year. All right, well, let's let's get started. Yesterday, we practice the manual. Also, the we had the practice of first conditional. First conditional. Okay, please get ready. Uh, get ready your manual. Okay. Okay, well. Okay, yesterday we have the vocabulary practice, the branding, the branding. Can you see my screen now? Hello? Yes, Mr. All right, yes. well, it says we have product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, and cultural branding. Right. For example, we have... Okay. Much better. Okay. It says product branding. What does product branding mean? Product branding. Product branding. Okay, go ahead. No, please, yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. It is how a product interact interact with mm -hmm. its customer audience through design, logo, and advertising. In advertising, very good. Okay, personal branding. Personal branding. What is personal branding? The practice of people marketing themselves and their theories as brands. Okay, very good. And corporate branding, corporate, corporate branding. What do you get by corporate? Branding. It refers to to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity, as opposed to a specific product or service. Excellent. As opposed. 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 Excellent. Okay. Uh, let me let me see. Geographical. Geographical branding. Geographical branding. What is geographical branding? It is used. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss. Okay. It is used to to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity of a Geographical region. Okay, region. 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 Thank you, Miss. Okay, and cultural, cultural branding. Um, cultural. No teacher. Uh, geographical yeah, yeah. branding. Yeah, you read 
geographical branding, but now yes. cultural branding. Yes. Mm. It, it refers. It refers. Uh -huh. It refers to the practice of promote promoting the brand name of mm. a corporate entity entity as offset to a specific product or service. Okay, I guess cultural branding is different. Okay. It's a type of branding that it's develops a type of a branding? reputation oh. about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Excellent. Okay, that it is cultural branding, a type of branding that develops a reputation okay. about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Well, yesterday, um, you had some questions. I don't know if you practiced it, practice them. And number one said, for example, what would you do if you miss, well, number two, what would you do if you have problem with the English language? If I have problem with my English language, I will, that is personal, I will study more or I will investigate or I will practice more. What would you do? What will you do if you have problems with your English level? What would you do? This is a point to start. I will study more. I will uh, practice carrying. What will you do if you have problem with the English language? Mister, I will practice two or three hours hours per day per day yeah. per per day Probably. okay good excellent next question what would you do if you can stand the heat está muy fuerte el calor no lo soportan qué harían si no lo pueden soportar what would you do if you can stand the heat the temperature i will uh, take a shower you will take a shower. Excellent. Uh, I will, beside taking a shower, I will eat ice cream. Ice cream. Boston ice cream. Or lemonade. A cold lemonade. I will drink a uh, Pepsi. You will drink a, a, a Pepsi. A Pepsi. Oh, Pepsi. Okay. What will you do if you want to move back to your home country? Ah, but you don't live in another country. But let's suppose right now you live in another country and you want to come back. What would you do? I will... I will buy a... Flight ticket. ticket. Flight, flight ticket. ticket. Flight ticket. Okay. What will... Ah, what would you do? If you run out of money, what would you do if you run out of money? I will look for a job. ¿Qué pasaría oh. si no tiene dinero? Uh -huh. I will I will sell vegetables in the street. Uh, uh, I will uh sell um, garage sell okay the garage sell garage sell excellent uh, what would you do if you get born if i am born i will go out to run that's my sport 
What would you do if you get born? I will uh, watch uh, videos. Videos in TikTok. TikTok or okay. YouTube. YouTube. Uh, what would you do if you don't like the food in UK? <laughs> I will look for a Salvadorian restaurant or a Mexican restaurant. What would you do if you don't like the food in the UK? United Kingdom. Uh, I, I will live to another place. Okay, another you will restaurant. live. Okay. You will live I in will our... prepare. I'm sorry? I will prepare my food. Okay, you <laughs> will prepare your food. What kind of food would you like to prepare? What kind of food? What kind of food? Italian food. Italian food. Pasta, spaghetti, yeah. pizza. Good. Thank you, Miss. Uh, what would you do if you split up with your partner? Split up. I will text him or text her. I will text her or text him or call him. Or color. And this is number 10. What would you do if you feel lonely? Lonely. I will sing a song. Ah, you will sing a song. What, what song is it? Um, um, I'm a survivor. <laughs> okay. Good survivor. I will, I will call my mother or my father, or I will, I will, let me see. Yeah, I will text them, my family, I will text my family. Okay, Mr. Luis will sing a song. Okay, well, uh, now it says, look at the two sets or question guide the branding process of a company or a person product branding what does your business or your product do what problem do you solve for your customers what are your three main competitors direct or indirect what is the primary message do want to convey to your customer what are five adjectives or word that best describe your company? Okay, what service do you have to other people? What do you have? What do you do that makes you stand out, out from everyone else? Who are your who are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves? What do you want your personal brand to convey? What adjective do you want people to associate with you? Okay, well, uh, we're gonna practice these questions. Maybe this, because these are, we are few students today. We are 14 today. All right, we're going to discuss, we're going to discuss this question. The purpose of this, uh, of this activity is that you, you speak English, you practice, okay, I know, I'm pretty sure you know grammar, you know how to write, but we need to practice the speaking part, the speaking. Okay, if you don't know how to answer the questions, si no sabe cómo contestar las preguntas, escriba la respuesta, practíquela y después da su opinión. Okay, y de esa forma va a ir construyendo vocabulario, fluidez. Okay, so I'm going to leave the answer, the questions here. Can you see the questions? Yes, all right. Well, uh, I'm gonna give you five minutes. Five minutes to look, to look for the answers para que busquen o creen sus oraciones. Bueno, sus respuestas.
Five minutes. Four minutes, four minutes. Okay, three minutes to complete your answers. Okay, it one minute, one minute.
Okay, time is over. Okay, first question. It says, what does your business product do? Okay, does anybody have any, or do we have any volunteer to answer this question? What does your business product do? Okay, let's suppose okay. you have a business. Uh, my company, Mr. Lends mm -hmm. money to people. He lends money? Yes, Mr. Okay, for buying houses or personal no, Mr. personal credits. Uh, personal credit. Uh, the most important um, is a credit score. Okay. All right, all right. If the, the people is A or B score, it's okay to lend money. All right. What is the amount that you usually, that your company usually lend? The amount. Month. Amount. $1,000, $2,000. Oh, okay. $10,000. Uh, the, the lens uh, uh, is it depends. for... Yes, Mr. For uh, uh, I don't know. Say um, uh, the rate is rango. Como se dice, the, the range. The range is uh, fifteen dollar to. Uh, for no, five uh, thousand dollars. Five thousand. Five thousand dollars. That's a lot. Okay. That is the most. That is the most. El maximum. That is the most. Uh, five. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, some uh, customer have uh, uh, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. That's a lot of but, money. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. Some 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 customer. Some uh, customer. Is, oh, okay. okay, good. Very good. Okay, uh, another volunteer. What does your business or product do? Okay, second question. What problem do you solve for your customers? In my case, the problem they solve are liquidity and investment. Okay, investment. So, for example, if your customer want to buy a car, for example, you you lend the, you lend the money to buy the car. No, Mister. Uh, the lends uh, are to uh, invest work capital, Not investment. Okay, Mister. Uh, one question. Tell me how to say uh, capital de trabajo y activo fijo uh, in yes. English. In English, actually, I don't know, but I'm going to investigate right now. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Miss. Go ahead. <clears throat> Question number one. Oh. Okay. Um, what does your business product do? My business is about organic food. Uh, what problem do you solve? For your customer, mm -hmm. improve your debt. I'm sorry. In case. The number two. Your debt. Improve your debt. Ah, uh, improve your diet. Dieta. Improve your diet. Okay, improve your okay. diet. Good. And I'm sorry, the product that you offer or the business. Business. Um, 
is my bullshit is above organic food. Ah, organic food. It sounds interesting. Yes. Excellent. Mr. Luis, you told me capital fijo. Right? You asked mm -hmm. me for Okay, here it says a fixed capital. Fixed capital. Mm -hmm. On tax y, treatment to y activo those. fijo. It says fixed capital. Uh -huh. Capital fijo de las administraciones. General government grows fixed capital formation. Uh, business by investment in fixed capital in the country. Uh -huh. Fixed capital. And what? I'm sorry? Activo fijo. Uh, no creo. Pero... Yeah, here I'm in a dictionary that is related with economy. Uh -huh. so, Finance. Uh -huh. uh, it says... A set, a set number, a set, a set number, it's one, a set, A-S-S-E-T. Or also fixed assessed amount. Thank you, fixed Mr. Income also. Fixed income. Income. Mm -hmm. Income is the money that you receive. Mm -hmm. Fixed income. Here it says that there is a sentence. Determine el activo fijo y la cuenta de acreedor. Determine the affected assessed and the affected vendor. That is said. Yes, Mr. Fixed Accent. Okay. And thank you. All right. A question. Next question says, what are your three main competitors? What are your main competitors? Direct or indirect? What are your main competitors? What are your main competitors in your business, in your job, in, with your My product? main competitors are Integral, Caja de Crédito, and Optima Company. But what is the direct that you say? They are... They are my uh, main competitor. I'm sorry, which uh, one? Which one? What? Which one? Uh, Integral. Integral. Is my first competitor. Integral. Is, is it like that? Integral, just, just that. Or is it that yeah, bank? Because it's... Uh, and next to my job. <laughs> they, are, they are in the same place. Yes. Integral, integral, just that, just like that. Okay. Okay, don't go to integral, go with Mr. Luis. That is the advertisement that we have today. All right, any other, any other volunteer? Who are your three main competitors? Maybe the other universities. Ah, Miss Sandra, because she works yes. in a in a university. So yes. for her, the main competitors are other, other universities. Yes. And now uh, the la national library. National library. Ah, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. But they haven't opened yet. But in no. case of university, which one do you consider is your your main competitor? But I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe uh, Don Bosco. Don Bosco. Or Matias Delgado. I guess. I guess because he's very. I can are kind of close. Matias, maybe. Yes. All right. In 
Thank you. Okay, what is the main, uh, who are your three main competitors? Thank you. What is the primary message do want to convey to your customer? In my case, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, the best thing uh, to people um, he, to do is work with uh, money uh, the other people. All right, to give money to other people. Yes. Okay, that is the main message, the principal message that you want to convey. Yeah, the best thing to people to do is work uh, with money the other people. Okay. Good. What are three adjectives or words that best describe your company? What are five adjectives or word that best describe your company? Um, speed, okay. trust, saving, and loyalty. Loyalty, okay, excellent. Speed, trust, and trust, saving. saving. Good. Okay, any other volunteer? All right, well, um, maybe we're going to practice these questions in the breakup rooms for five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Okay. Puede proyectar, Cecio Concepción, por favor. Ahorita. Porque yo no puedo. <risa> Ay, no. Y mañana, y mañana sueto, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? Yo chivo porque eh, maña, el, el viernes salgo de vacaciones. Qué envidia. Pero yo solo ocho que... días. El viernes regreso a trabajar yo. Ay, no. Ah, sí, sí, estaban ahí en, en, en alerta roja, ¿verdad? Ay, sí. Solo ingreso corporativo no nos tuvo compasión. <risa> sí, desde <risa> la casa, qué compasión. Ups, ups. No, todo, ante el ministerio, todas las actividades académicas. <risa> Ey, miren, me gusta. Las actividades les... estaban suspendidas. M mire la reacción <risa> del mister, hay una carita con alegría. No, no vi la, no vi si la ustedes se recuerdan, hasta el Teacher's Day trabajamos. ¿Verdad? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Pero es porque no se rige por una identidad. Llamémoslo educativa. 
No, sí. pues sí, en este sentido. Si la empresa privada trabaja, trabaja. Uh -huh, exacto, así. Únicamente si es sueto de empresa privada, ahí descansa. Uh -huh. Pero mañana okay. no tenemos mañana clase. clase. No, mañana no. Mañana ah. pueden, pueden hacer sus actividades que regularmente hacen el 2 de noviembre. Sin ninguna culpa de que van a llegar tarde a la clase. No. <risa> mañana le doy descanso, dice el teacher. Mañana nos dan descanso. <risa> ¿Qué página Bye. es? Ceci es la página 26, 26. Ok, pero entonces. Vaya. Cuéntenos, te... Ceci, what does your business uh... do? ¿Qué, qué, qué? It's very what easy. ¿Cuál es mi negocio? Ay, es que no sé cómo decirlo sé. Como se le venga a la mente <ríe> ah, Fíjense madre. que yo aprendí Aprendí lo siguiente eh, uh -huh. en, en, en tema de, de, de idiomas O lengu, lenguas Lo importante es aprender a comunicarse Aquí va, estamos aprendiendo gramática Y toda la cosa Pero la gente que viene de Estados Unidos Primero no les da pena Segundo, eh, se esfuerzan por comunicarse. Y el que está escuchando hace el esfuerzo por entenderle. Pues. Pero si no vencemos esa barrera, eh, siempre vamos a estar. Yo me equivoco un montón de veces, el teacher, porque nos tiene cariño ya. Después sí, de cuatro ya. módulos. <risa> ya, ya dice ya, ¿para qué dejo de luchar? Ah, sí, sí. <risa> no, hombre, ya. Si no, quieren no, que aprendan no, y si no, no. <risa> Cabal, bien dicho, sí. Mejor se va a ir el pinche. Ok. ¿Verdad que no has lanzado la toalla, mister, con nosotros? No, no. Va. no. no dice. Ahí estoy firme. Vamos. Lo único que no ha dicho con uno que aprenda, me doy por satisfecho. Dice. Bueno, okay. Va, démosle ese sí. Yes, okay. eh, uy, pero. Mm, my business is mm, selling jeans. Así se dice. <laughs> jeans. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pants. Uh -huh, pants. Jeans. Blue jeans, black jeans, white jeans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, what problem do you solve for your customers? Hmm. I'm... Ay, ¿cómo se dice? No sé por qué igual voy comenzando. <laughs> Quiero ver cómo le consigo. Es que triste hablar inglés. No, no, más triste es haber almorzado y que después le digan que había aguacate. Eso sí es triste. <risa> <risa> no, pero esto no. Mire, había aguacate, le dicen. Ay, y usted ahí en. Quiero decirle, quiero ver. Dice, what problem do you solve? Resolver. Ay, Dios mío, espérenme, me voy a contestar ya un momentito. Ok, vaya, entonces ahí, Sandra o Concepción, mientras tanto me hago un cafecito. Oh, really? ¿Tú, pues? Only... Con leche de almendra. Mm. Almond black, milk. Black, black. No, ah, ok. Eh, well, no sugar, have, please. No sugar, I don't know business, but I, I help with my friends for, for sell a, a typical food. And I don't know, empanadas, pasteles, elotes locos. Mm -hmm. 
and and I try to forget. and when we don't have product, uh, the customer is waiting for uh, 10 minutes for the food and Vaya, hoy sí. Ya. Yeah. Ahí me avisa para empezar. Le pregunto y usted me contesta o mm -hmm. cómo. ¿Cómo? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok, ok, ok. What does your routine? O product do? In the company makes industry work easy with appropriate tools. tools. Um, in my case, my business is about organic food. Organ as organic. problemas con los clientes. Yes, yes, that's true. Um, well, the primer message, um, no, the main competitors is the other one. And that, in that case, we don't have competitors near with us because all the salt only for that year. Okay, this is the conception time. Okay. okay. <laughs> In my case, and the first question about my work, we provide legal advice. We also do deals all of all kinds. Only.
Okay. Well, after you practice the question and you practice your speaking, uh, now we're going to go over another topic that is called a second conditional. Do you remember yesterday we studied the conditional number one and today we're going to go over the conditional number two. Okay. For example, second conditional. All right. The second conditional it is used to express hypothetical situations or kind of kind of um, advice, okay, para expresar eh, situaciones hipotéticas o también expresar eh, de cierta manera consejos o recomendación. The second conditional. He used to talk about unreal or impossible things. Cosas que son no reales o hipotéticas o cosas imposibles. For example, if I won a lot of money, I would buy a big house in Miami. Where would you live if you could live anywhere in the world? If you, di if you didn't smoke so much, you would feel a lot better. If I had his number, I will call him. Okay, those are sentences in using the conditional number two. Son oraciones donde se utiliza o donde se, eh, donde se utiliza la, la segunda condicional. Okay, please note that we use the simple past in this type of conditional. Take a look to the formula, okay? La condicional número tenía su, su fórmula, podemos llamar, y la segunda condicional también. ¿Y cómo está compuesto? Compuesto por if, if, vimos que if significaba si. Simple past. Do you remember the simple past? For example, the verbs in past, the auxiliary didn't or did, Okay, those are, that is simple past. Pl uh, comma, that is very important, comma, comma. And subject would plus the infinitive. Okay, si la cláusula if la dejamos de último, comenzamos. Subject would infinitive. Y en ese caso ya no agregamos comma. Únicamente si vamos a colocar coma si comenzamos con if. Si no comenzamos con if y comenzamos con el resultado y la condición la dejamos de último, no vamos a colocar coma. Ok. Subject plus would plus infinitive plus if plus simple past. Ok. Remember, the simple past tense plus would. And this would sounds in Spanish like si yo ganara la lotería, me comprara. Esta es una, una acción o un pensamiento hipotético. Casi imposible. Que es algo irreal porque no se ha ganado la, la lotería. Si yo tuviera un millón de dólares, yo haría esto. Que es una acción hipotética. Si viviera en Estados Unidos, yo visitaría tal lugar. Ese si yo es una condición. Si tú te sientes mal, deberías o viajarías. Okay, that is like the equivalence in Spanish. Let's practice. It says, if I had a million of dollar, a million dollar. Si yo tuviera un millón de dólares, vamos a decir, vamos a I will buy um I will a buy big house, a, a big house in New York. In New York. I guess it is like this. If I'm not wrong. Okay. Ah, but we forgot something very important. Come on. 
semi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Después de dólar ya estábamos. If, ah, yes, right. Mm -hmm. My bad. I'm getting blind. Picando ciego. If I had a million of dollars, if I had a million dollars, I would buy a big house in my in New York. Es un caso hipotético. Ok. Uh, if I met a celebrity, si conociera, if I met, what would you do? I will take, I will take a picture. I would take a picture. A picture. A photograph. Okay. A, a selfish. A selfish. I would take a picture. Tomaré una fotografía. Or I would ask for a picture. Le preguntaría o le pediría una fotografía. Very good. If I found a wallet. If I found a wallet. If I found a wallet. Si me encontraron una billetera. If I found a wallet, I will spend the money. <laughs> okay. If I found a wallet, I would spend the money. I would spend the money. Okay. If I could in invent something... Si pudiera inventar algo, I would If I could invent something, I would I would introduce to the I would introduce mm -hmm. introduce what? O podría ser, sería. It would be. Y lo dejaremos en. En veremos. Eh, if I could eat my favorite food forever. <laughs> I would eat. Uh... Cheeseburger. I would eat cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Yes, yes, yes. That is that is a McDonald's burger or... no any brand. Okay. Any restaurant. Any restaurant. Okay. If I if I okay, or I will eat meat or I will eat pupusas or I will eat tacos. Si pudiera comer una comida para siempre, mi comida fuerte para siempre, yo comería. I would eat cheeseburger. Okay. If I had to go on a diet. If I had to go on a diet. If I had to go on a diet, I would eat salad for dinner I will eat salad salad for dinner for dinner okay if I were a sign scientific I will earn money right 
Okay, well, as you can see, those are like hypothetical situations. Casos que no son reales. Solo estamos eh, haciendo las hipótesis. Okay, ahora ya tenemos I would travel. Ya tenemos la, la consecuencia. Ahora necesitamos la condición. I would travel the world. Yo viajaría al mundo. If I will travel the world if I had the money. If I have the money. Okay, as you can see, uh, she used have in past. Okay, yo viajaría al mundo si tuviera dinero. If I had the money. I would be a good singer. If I sunk, I'm sorry. Let me a second myself. If I um, uh, sunk very well, if I sunk, sunk. Song. If I sing. Ah, but it's sí, past, right? No. But would be, si tuviera buena voz. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? Si tuviera. Um, if I had. Uh, mm -hmm. If had a good voice. Voice. Good voice. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Yeah. And Mr. Oh, if I had you. good voice. Oh. I will visit the Eiffel Tower. Si viajara, ¿cómo diríamos? My travel. Excelente. If I travel to Paris. I will visit the Eiffel Tower if I travel to Paris. Okay, I will speak more fluently. By if I, I practice. practice frequently, okay, I would speak more fluent, fluently if I practice more often. I will ask for help. I would ask for help. If I lost. In the mountain. Ah. On the moon. If I were. En este caso, en este caso como es, un, es una condición hipotética, eh, cuando nos refiramos al pasado del verb to be, eh, siempre vamos okay. a utilizar where. Yeah. Okay, esa es una peculiaridad de, esa, de ese tiempo. Vamos a utilizar siempre where. Yo sé que decimos I was, pero en la segunda condicional siempre vamos a utilizar where. If I were. If I were lost. Si estuviera perdido. Okay, uh, I will go to the doctor. Yo iría al doctor if, si fuera if si yo I, fuera tú. Ah, uh, bien. If I, I will go to the doctor if I felt sick. Okay, felt sick. Felt. Excellent. Uh, I will be a pilot. 
I would be a pilot. I would be a pilot. If I studied that career. If that is if I study that career. Excellent. Very good. Okay, as you can see. Okay. All right. Es como pueden eh, darse cuenta, la segunda condicional está compuesta por dos tiempo gramatical. El primero, el if, comenzamos con if, seguido de eh, el simple past ya sea en negación o afirmación. Por ejemplo, si es negación, I didn't. Eh, o si es afirmación, el verbo en pasado, más would. Y el verbo en su forma base. Vamos a ir practicando un poco la second conditional. Okay, I need to share, I need to. I need to share with you my screen to do the following exercise. For example, it says, if I, I wouldn't walk to work every day. Car. If I had a car, I wouldn't walk to work every day. Si yo tuviera automóvil, significa que no tiene. If I won the lottery, I would buy. Buy. I would buy. If I were. If I were you, recuerden, si es un caso hipotético, I vamos a utilizar siempre. Where? What would you do if you? I want to. I. Oh. Found a wallet in the street. I. I. Forgive Sophie if I were you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yo no la perdonaría. Qué rencorosa. <laughs> okay. You go to Brenda's party. Would you go to Brenda's party if you weren't busy? If I were you, I? I would tell. I would tell Kevin the no. truth. If I were you, what would you do if you? So. If you saw so. a snake. If I. I, uh, I if I had time, I, I would help you. If I were you, I. I would buy this hat. What? What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if you won the lottery? What would you do if you? Would break. Would break. 
Break. Move. 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 Break. Move. Break. Move. Break. 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 A motorbike for your birthday. Okay. Let's keep practicing. Ok, les voy a proporcionar el siguiente ejercicio. Y si me avisan cuando ya lo finalice. When you finish, let me know, please.
Fenes. Na jetzt. Finish. Okay. Good. All right, let's start. Okay, if One. If I won the lottery, the the that lottery, I will buy. My dream house. My dream house. If if you if you didn't to sit them, what? Oh, at you saw. So much. So much. So much television. You. You. You would. You would.
do better at the school. You would do better at school. Excellent. If, if you... Let's see. Well. He, well. Your friend. Her friend. If she were your friend, she would tell the truth. You would tell her the truth. If you pay. More attention. More attention. attention. Your grandmother. Your. 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 She will be happier. If, if she if ask uh, Nicely. Say. You will nicely say yes. If, if, if we. If, Didn't. Didn't. Go. Didn't go to the school. No. I didn't have go. Oh. I go to. Go to school. Go the match. Go to the, the, the school. The, the school. Oh. Oh, the school. Uh, we could go to the match to, to go. Go to the match. the match. And the last one. If, if I start swimming, swim. um, my goal, my goal, my back, my back goal, my, my back. Up. Hurt. Up. Up. Hurt. 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 Okay, excellent. Well, and now, well, you know how to, you know the, you you know the rules. You know how to identify the correct order. Now, uh, I need you to identify the correct order. Okay, as usual, I'm not sure this link. Okay, and we're gonna practice together.
Y ese es el link. No, ese es el anterior. Seguro. Ah, yes, sí. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Aquí está. Pero es que yo es el último pertinche, Armando. Copié. No. Ya le vimos el chat y todo, mire, el montón de ventanas que sí me había. <risa> Qué valor. Muy bien, cerrado. Ok. A ver qué chévere. Ah, Vaya. Y sería Adbea. Ah, Moni. Y está yo sabido. No lo puedo seleccionar, no sé por qué. Ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. I could do that if I could like where. 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 Like where. But the leaves could be different in the world. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, Miss. Didn't have. Where? Where? Wouldn't be. 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 Ya me había quedado, no. pero me olvidó porque, porque cuando se utilizaba. Ok. I thinking is didn't like, but uh, another question. The conditional is subject plus good. ¿Cuál es? Plus infinito. Yes. No, dejémosle, okay. no hay problema. Démosle, démosle. No, la idea que no salga bien, que nos hacemos bien. Mm. Pero es que según la forma de subject, más infinitive, 
Simple past. We okay. No, but I just do No, it's wooden leaf. But okay, then I'll go then. Entonces, esta, ¿por qué el Ay, se me la Habría que cambiarlo. Por wouldn't. Pero yo creo que Seguro. Pero life would be different if we didn't have. Wouldn't. Didn't yes. da, terminemos las otras y probemos antes de, de darle finalizar. Ba, ok, ok. La nueve es. Eight. 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 La diez es. I. No, I see. I see. No, la cinco. Would win more. Uh -huh. Vaya de mal. Eh, la dieciséis. Leos. It come along with you, I didn't. Vaya, ven que sí, I didn't. I didn't have. Aquí es más claro porque la otra persona es Don't Have. Pero ahí arriba sí tengo mi duda en la, en la 8. Pues. Eh, ask it. Ask it. Ask it. Ask it. Ask it. Ask it. Drunk. Esta es esta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero me quedo con duda en la ocho. Pero es, bueno. Es Diren. ¿Cuál? Por... No good, Len. You the car if you ask. Ask her nicely. O Diren ask. No, ask. Ask. Mongol land to the car if you ask her nicely. Salud. <ríe> aquí, aquí en mi casa fue, <ríe> pero no fui yo. Pero igual, ¿no? <ríe> Dele que sí. se tome unas quemas. Unas clorofenirinina. Una clorofenirinina que se tome, le digo. Sí. <ríe> If you drunk. Drink, drunk, drunk. Drunk. No es drunk. Sí, creo que es drunk. Drunk. No. Drunk, creo que es el infinitivo. Sí, 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 sí. Drunk. Drunk. Entonces, drunk. Sí. No, es drunk. ¿Ay? No, es drunk. ¿El infinitivo? No, el infinitivo es el drink. El pasado es 
Drink, drunk, drunk. 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 Yes, drunk. If you drank more water, you wouldn't help. help. And so it's drunk. Yes. Okay. I think. You would get. You would get. You would get. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué dice el público? Estamos mal en uno. Bueno, nada más. Pero sacamos 10. If you study, entonces el study. era. Ajá, era el pasado, la pusimos en, el pre, en, pre, en presente. No. Lo pusimos, pusimos pasado. No. Y era presente. Le pusimos en study. Está en rojo el que está tachado. Y el que era era study. Ajá, en pasado. En pasado. Ajá. Ese era. Pero, uno. De 20. Sí, pues sí, no estamos tan mal. It's good, great. Thank you. Thank you. Va. Ya saben reconocer, vamos a ver si saben aplicar. Tienen en el. Lisi. My mouse doesn't work. Ya está cansado. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Since the pandemia. <laughs> okay. Here you have. Let's try to do it. And take the screenshot, please. Of this exercise. Oh. Remember, where it is, where to be, it is where. Linda, if I, if I, Linda, if Linda, where, in the verb to be, always is where or weren't. Where. Where. Just with the verb to be, right? Mm -hmm. Mira lo que estoy compartiendo, compañeras. Sí. Ok. Yes. Ok, ok. Just a condition for. Vale, entonces en el primero. Where. 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 Linda, where. Where. ¿Cómo se ha ido de...? De, es que tendría que ser un restaurante donde quepamos todos. Somos, somos 12. How was the score? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a 10. Excellent. Well, I know now I see you can identify the structures. Now I want to see if you can apply. This is another link where you have to apply the structure. Okay. You were telling about the restaurant, Mr. Luis. Uh, excuse me, Mr. You were telling something about the restaurant. Chao. Uh, Algo del restaurante, ¿qué? Que me guste a mí. No, de, me imagino que de la... De meeting. De meeting. Ah, ok. Ah, Creo que... Que... <risa> San Salvador, Salvador del Mundo. Tendría que ser, yo lo que le digo, para San Salvador definitivamente, pero no bajar mucho al centro. Podría ser por el lado de ahí de... De por donde trabaja Sandra y por la no, yo confundo, me tengo que hacer puede ser, aunque antiguo el domingo va a estar lleno, tendría que ser ahí por sí. el 
los próceres, todo eso, lo, todo, todo, todo en, esa, en esa calle, o por el lado de ahí de la, de la, del paseo, o, o, o otros lugares, pero ya cuando me voy acercando ahí al centro histórico, sí, yo siento que hay a fondo cura. Y sí, después ya saliendo, bastante ¿no? tiempo está allá, Ajá. Pero, pero sí, ahí, incluso podría ser aquí, algo, algo en Santa Tecla para que los que podría vamos ser, podríamos movernos allá y los que vienen de Sonsonate, como usted. Pero en Santa Tecla, ¿qué misa? No sé, depende de lo que. Aunque Santa Tecla empieza, lo que pasa es que ya se unió con San Salvador. Uh -huh. Pero yo creo. Ay, que... Carmen. También. Ajá. O en los centros comerciales de ahí, de ah, la Gran ¿sí? Vía, la Gran Vía, También, por el parking. Ah, Ajá. sí, hombre, hay un montón. Sí, sí, opciones hay un montón. Ese otro, es otro, es otro libro, pero sí, es el otro libro. Esa no es. Tenemos que trabajar. Ah, ya lo vi. Ahora díganme cómo vamos a ¿Será que lo pueden mandar al, al grupo de uh... ahí lo mando en, en el chat de en el chat en el que estamos ahorita? Sí, lo que pasa es que no me cuesta entrar ahí. Quiero ver cómo ah, lo pongo. Okay. Ahí te se lo comparto. Okay. Y el otro no, dilema no es, es que no todos comen lo mismo. Yo lo que sea. Da igual. Same here, mister. Whatever. Ya le voy a poner fechas, fíjense, definitivamente para quiero ver. Tendría que ser en noviembre. Domingo 26 de noviembre. Y más de alguno va a tener algún compromiso. Porque ya sí, sí. dice, mentira. Gracias, Andrés. Sí. Okay. sí, en diciembre sí, en mi equipo. Comencemos, si no, no vamos a terminar. Va de muy bien. ¿Y acá cómo sería? Es sí. linda. Es linda libre. We're here. Ah, we, ah, we're. Ay, no sé dónde vi live. <ríe> ya no veo. <ríe> Ahí vamos a utilizar where. Yes. Yes, yes. we're here. Where? We're here. Here ya está ahí. Where. Where. Oh, ya, ya está. Y el verbo es que vi, el que está en paréntesis. Pero estamos escribiendo es por where. Es linda where. Here and to. To. Help. To who. Help. 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 Ok, ya regresemos. Y es Linda Ward. Ah, ok. Wait, Kitty. Hmm. What? 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 Uh, en la primera sería uh, con ID, ¿verdad? Help. Eh, el verbo help. Eh, no tendría que ir en pasado. Tiene que ir en pasado. Help it. Pues me falta, así. Sí. Okay. What were? What good? What good? What good do? Good. 
If you sub. Sub. If I found. ¿Cómo está o lo modificamos el verbo? El verbo en pasado. Found. Pasado, sí, sí. If I found. Some money in the street. I could take. I could. I could take. Take it to the police. Michael, where? Michael, where we can be iron, some, it's some. If someone say can. Ahora el otro sería if I knew. Paz. ¿Cómo se escribe? N E. Ajá. to solve this problem. I will. I will do it. Will do. No, will do. No. Will do. 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 If I fail, fail. No, fail. Fail. No, fail. 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 Ajá. Sí. Fail. No, fail. Igual que está ahí, solo que con ed. Fail. 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 The exam. Ajá. Ay. Pero. I was. I did. I was. I wear. I wear. I will. Tú lo sé, ¿dónde lleva el no llevaría el good? Ahí lleva ahí llevaría ¿A dónde? I will be ahí, ahí. I will Ajá. be very disappointed. En vez del word be. Ajá. Will be. Sí. ¿Así? Sí. Okay. Yeah. ¿Cuál es esa? Es la 9, 8. 9. La 8 que te como ahorita. Ajá. Ok. Jenny will, will make. No, madre. No, porque está usando el wood. <coughs> Es que se usa el wood va infinity. A nice if she knew. Ajá. 
If my husband where he would hurt he would pardon me ¿Cómo se escribe esto? ¿El qué? ¿El, ese verbo? ¿Sí? Igual. ¿Sí? Ah, sí. No, igual. Así. Earn. Ajá. We wouldn't learn. Pueden aquí sí es en pasado. Pero negativo. En el rain. So, if we... No. Okay, well, I guess some of you are already, I already saw you finished the exercise one, the conditional, conditional two, conditional two. I don't know if someone can if someone can share a screen from the first exercise, from the first exercise. Can you share a screen? Me teacher. Thank you, Miss Cecilia. Ah, okay, you got 10 out of 10. <clears throat> if I will have, if I have money, I will go with you. If I study, very good. Okay, excellent. Very good. I don't know if someone finished condition, the second exercise. Did you finish the second exercise, Miss Cecilia? No, teacher. <clears throat> Not yet. Okay, it will be homework. All right, well, the first conditional. Remember, eh, you need to mix two tenses. Well, it's composed by two tenses. Um, first, the simple past plus would. Simple past plus would. All right, and we use the second conditional for hypothetical situations or unreal situations or most likely impossible things. Now, I need to take the attendance list, as usual. But something that I want to remind you is that tomorrow uh, we don't have classes. We don't have classes, but we're gonna have classes on we're gonna have classes on Friday. Okay. And um, do not forget to do the homeworks, please. The homework assignments. Right now, this was the class number um, 13, 13. So please do the homework. Now I need to take the attendance list. Help me with the cameras, please. And let's start. Okay. Hernandez Sotelo. Present. Maribel Ramos. Present. Thank you. Teacher. All right. Calderon de Lopez. 
present teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Guerrero Molina. Present teacher. López González. Present teacher. Rugamas Melara. Present. Santana González. Present. España Marroquín. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Alvarado Mejía. León Rivera. Present, teacher. Castaneda Velasco. Present, teacher. Romero Ayala. Present, teacher. Rosibel Hernández. Present, teacher. Olina de García. Present. López de Cabrera. Okay, well, uh, see you until Friday. Enjoy your day off. God bless you and good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. See you on See ya. Friday. See you on Friday. Night. Good night, Miss Clarissa. Good night. Good night. See you.